Welcome to Paint Pot Part 1. Uh, this app, you're going to build uh, an app that allows the user to draw on an image, or to create some color buttons, add a canvas with the image, and a white button to clear the canvas. This video is mainly focused on building the user interface. So the first thing that you got to do is, oh, we'll do some, we'll do some basic coding as well. But the first thing you got to do is go to the gallery. There's a link on the handout and click load app into MIT App Inventor. You'll get a screen like this. It should have, well, it's got a PNG of a kitty. All right, so let's build the user interface together. We're going to want to, um, first of all, set up, we're going to need to set up the layout. So we'll get a, a horizontal arrangement and we'll drag it out and we'll set it the width to fill parent. That's the first thing we want to do. Next thing we need to do is get some buttons. So we'll go to the first button here. Each button we need to rename them, change the text and the background color. So let's see here, we'll rename this one the red button. And we'll change the text. And we'll change the background color. And we actually want to set the width to 33. Got that one. All right, we're going to add another button. Pop it right in here. We will rename this button. This will be our green button. And we want to change the text. This will be green. Oh, not green, green. And we'll get the background color to green. And we want to change the width to 33. Get one more uh, button in here. This will be our blue button. So let's see here. We'll rename it the blue button. Okay, and then we will do the text, which will be blue. And we will do the background color, which should also be blue. And then we'll get the width to be 33%. Okay, so first thing we need to do, and then uh, under drawing animation, we'll need, well, we won't do it that way. We can simply look for the canvas. We'll drag the canvas out here. And we'll change the background image to the kitty. All right. Oh, it's looking looking good. Not totally centered, but it will be okay. And then we want to add another button under it, which we will call the white button. So let's see. We'll rename it white button. All right. We got that. And then we have to change the text to wipe. Looks good. Okay. So now we got to do some basic programming. And we'll go to the block screen. And when the red button is clicked, when the red button is clicked, we want to change the canvas color. So let's see here. Can we get on the canvas? Uh, we got to set the canvas okay so we want that one okay so we got to ch change the paint color I think that's what we're doing here is that obvious here we are okay set the canvas paint color we actually have to go into color we want to make sure that it we are painting in red and then can we just duplicate this yes we can okay so now we go here to the green button and we can change the color to green and we'll do this one more time and we'll get this to blue and we'll change the color to some sort of blue. Okay, got that done. Um, what else are we going to want to do? How about when the canvas is touched, we are going to want to... All right, where is it? Okay, so when the canvas is touched... Sorry. Um, okay. Okay, all right, we'll use this one. And when the canvas is touched at any point, uh, we should draw a circle, so we'll need to go back into the canvas, and we need to draw a circle. So we'll drag this in there, and we'll get the center x will be wherever the x is touched, the x value of where we touch. Hey, span. We'll get this one. We'll get the y. We'll start off with a radius here, and I think probably a good place to start with the radius might be say 10. Uh, but we're going to use a variable to fill that later, and then we'll go with the white button. We will wipe the canvas. So let's see here. Is there an easy button fit in here? Yep. Okay. Alrighty. That's part one.